we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of, our, of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Reconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man lame from birth who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this, and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea, and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways, Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, 
but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Please stand. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world. Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ano bang itsura ng pag-ibig? Sabi ni San Agustin, ang pag-ibig ay may kamay na handang tumulong sa iba. Meron itong paa na puntahan at tugunan ang pangangailangan ng mga mahihirap. May mata ito para makita ang pasakit at halaga ng bawat isa. May tenga ito para mapangkinggan ang panaghoy at alalahanin ng tao. Lahat pong yun na ginawa ni Jesus habang siya ay nandito sa lupa na nagkatawang tao at nakipamuhay sa atin. Nakita niya, pinuntahan niya, Pinigyan niya, naipadama niya, pinakinggan niya ng lahat. At yun siguro ang tinuturo sa atin kung paano magmahal na ang pag-ibig kapag narinig mo lamang ay hindi pag-ibig. Kasi ang pag-ibig, kailangan ipakita, kailangan ipadama. Hindi lang ito basta-basta naririnig. Kaya nga, paano ba? Napapaisip pa rin tayo, paano ba talaga magmahal? At alam ng Diyos na mahihirapan tayo kung paano umibig, kung paano magmahal. Kaya nga, paulit-ulit na pinapaalala sa atin, ng ating simbahan na magmahal ka dahil alam niyang mahihirapan tayo. May mga pagkakataon na hindi natin makita ang pangangailangan ng iba na hindi natin pakikinggan kung anong kanilang panaghoy. May panahon na hindi natin sila pupuntahan. 
ay panahon na ipipikit natin ang ating mga mata. May mga panahon na isasara natin ang ating mga kamay. Bakit? Kapag hindi ito naaayon sa ating pansariling kagustuhan. At doon tayo nagkakasala. At ang pagkakasalang yon hinders us to see, to give, to feel, to touch, to hear the groans and sorrows of many people around us. Kaya nga anong ginawa ni Jesus? Inihahanda niya tayo sa pagdating ng banal na Espiritu. At anong gagawin ng banal na Espiritu na ituturo sa atin at ipaalala sa atin kung paano tunay na magmahal. Dahil ang pagmamahal na yon ay nakaukit sa ating mga puso dahil ginawa na yon ni Jesus ibinigay na sa atin at bawat isa sa atin ay nakatanggap ng kanyang pagmamahal. Pero dahil sa ating pagkakasala, nakakalimot tayo. At ang tanging solusyon, ipapaalala sa atin kung paano ulit magmahal. Kaya nga ang Diyos Espiritu Santo ay darating. Diyos ang ating Diyos ay isa. Sinabi ni Jesus, walang sino mang nang nakakikilala sa Ama kundi ako. At ang Ama at ako ay iisa. Kung ang Espiritu Santo ay galing sa Diyos Ama sa pamamagitan ng anak at kilala nila ang bawat isa, hindi ba't iisa lang ang ating Diyos? Isa lang ang Diyos na may tatlong persona. At sa pamamagitan ng pag-ibig, matututunan natin kung paano magmahal kagaya ng pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. But then, we know it is difficult. Mahalin nga lang yung katabi ninyo. Diba? Ang hirap-hirap na kahit gaano sila kaimportante sa atin, kahit gaano sila kahalaga sa atin, kapag nasaktan nila tayo, merong lamat. Kapag niloko ka, kapag minsan pinagtabuyan ka, kapag minsan pinagtaguan ka, kapag minsan iniwan ka, mararamdaman mo ang sakit. Pero tatanggapin at tatanggapin mo pa rin. Bakit? Nagmamahal ka eh. Nagmamahal ka. Kaya kahit pa paano, dahil sa pag-ibig, napapadali. Papaano na lang yung mga taong hindi mo kilala? Papaano na lang yung mga taong talagang nakapagbigay ng pasakit sa puso mo, sa buhay mo? Matututunan kaya natin silang mahalin? Yet siguro ang paanyaya sa atin is to become docile. Na maging bukas tayo na matuto kung paano tuwi na magmahal. Kahit nakaakibat ng pagmamahal at pag-ibig ay pasakit. Dahil ganun naman ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Hindi ba't nang dahil sa pagmamahal, anong kanyang ginawa? He gave of His life. At minahal niya tayo ganito. Makikita ninyong marka ng mga pako sa kanyang mga kamay because this is how much He loved us. And there is no greater love than this than to lay down your life for your brothers and sisters. Kaya't siguro, paanyaya na maging bukas kung paano matutong magmahal kahit kaakibat nito ay pasakit. 
magmahal kahit mahirap. Magmahal kahit masakit. Please stand. With confidence, let us now raise our hearts to God the Father who guides us through His Word. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may live the spirit of the Gospel and seek God's will in her ministry of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enter the place Christ has prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and open our hearts to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God and forever. And spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord. Wash your Lord from my sins. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that may sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. An integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Yes. 
indeed, O Lord, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us, receive it. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe.
Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating turuan ang bawat isa kung paano tunay na magmahal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.